Open House with Jeffrey Bodu of William Ravis on WTIC News Talk 1080. Well, here All we right. are. Here we are. Jeffrey, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, Joe. How are you and Ray doing? Good, good. buddy. We're good. Uh, let's jump into this because we've been a little backed up here with commercials. Um, we've been t- Last time we had John a couple weeks ago, we were talking about obviously selling and what people should do with that. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get back to the, that a little bit. I know one of the things that you talk to your clients about is minimizing. Can you just explain that a little yeah. bit? Well, minimizing is so important. You need to get as much out of your house as you possibly can to make it as desirable to buyers when they come in. You know, uh, having something around, well, that that's, that's a gift from my parents that they gave us from the wedding. You know, buyers, that's not going to matter for them. In fact, it's probably no. distract them from your home. So. You want to minimize as much as you can so a buyer can envision themselves putting their furniture in their pictures exactly. and stuff of that sort. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, you know one of the first things a buyer is going to do when they drive up is, is there, you need immediate curb appeal, too, because you know, like anything else, it's first impression. So uh, the moment a buyer drives up to the property, they've already making assumptions about your home. Yikes. So... Uh, make sure the shrubs are trimmed and the yard is mowed, and maybe even the driveway is in okay shape. Driveway is in okay shape. Get rid of those weeds, that sort of stuff. There is a lot of things a seller needs to do, not only inside, outside, but inside. And it's important that they talk to their agent uh, before they dive into these things because there's some repairs and things that they may think are going to bring value or maybe going to be important to a buyer. Right, right. But frankly, they're not. Or there's some some repairs that don't make financial sense that possibly can be negotiated on once you're under contract. Jeff, let's talk about the aspect of, uh, of packing. When do you pack? What do you pack? And where do you put it? <laughs> That's a good question. You know, the seller needs to disassociate themselves from the house. You know, it's not their house. It's, it's going to be sold in a couple of weeks. So part of the minimizing is finding out what items need to be packed, package them up, you know, I'm not one for getting those things that you put in the driveway uh, and you put your stuff in there. It's yeah. just going to take away from the just the uh, curb appeal of your house. Pods thing, but as yeah. they tell sellers, um, you know, if it's in the middle of summertime, you're going to be moving. Pack up all your winter clothes anyway. Put those in a box, and you can absolutely neatly store boxes in a corner. Uh, you know, you fold them. You tape them up, you put uh, the information on the outside of the box, and what that shows to a buyer is, well, these people really are organized. Good. But we, uh, I think when we sold my house, we, we had a bunch of stuff. Besides that, we filled three dumpsters, but okay, there's that. But uh, we took a, <laughs> got one of those temporary storage units, you know, and put a bunch of stuff in there, and that's a nice way to get it out of the house. And it's not that expensive. No, you would t- I, Gray, you're absolutely right. Get that stuff removed from the house minimize as much as you can and you know finding the right agent is going to be important because they're all like i said they're going to help you decide what items are going to be important to either repair maintain or or not do anything with it but they're also going to help you with the state with the packing and where to pack and they may even refer uh, contractors or people that they use that's going to help you with that stuff to to, to do that process so the reason you take all of your stuff out or at least as much as you can minimize, as you said, um, is so that the person walks in and says, you know, I could imagine putting our sofa here and our uh, bookcase here, right? I mean, that's basically what you want them to do is imagine that it's their own. Absolutely. And if, if you have too much stuff in the house, you've got a love seat, two couches, four end tables, a buyer's not going to be able to envision themselves there because they're going to be looking at the clutter. And not only that, but the rooms are going to appear significantly smaller than probably what they are. Yeah. A couple more minutes with Jeffrey Bodu, uh, open house with uh, Jeff uh, Bodu Realty at William Revis. Um, When do you you decide what needs to be repaired and what doesn't? And And also maintenance of the house is concerned. Well, I'm glad you brought up maintenance, Joe, because that's an important factor. You know, when a buyer or, pardon me, when a seller is preparing your house for sale, one of the big things that I like to suggest to people is put together, find all of your the brochures, the warranties, um, all the maintenance records that you can find for the, that house and put them together in one certain area. You know, I sold the house once, and the gentleman and had a, believe this or not, three three ring binders of everything they've done to the house <laughs> in sequence. 
That's organized. Now that's a little bit. That's the truth, and it's a little overkill. But I'll tell you, everybody who came and looked at that house was thoroughly impressed and felt comfort that they, they were going to purchase this house without issue, and it went into multiple offers. So that that stuff like that is important. So it makes you believe that you know he was maintaining the furnace, they were maintaining the air conditioning, they had the fans going, the garage door opener works because this guy is organized. This guy is organized, and when when people see that. Not only does it equate to a quicker sale, but almost always it equates to more money in the pocket of the seller. Woohoo, Jeff! We know you have you you have a, 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 a an office down in Florida. How's how's real estate down there? Yeah. Are they they're obviously deeper in the pandemic now than we are. They are deeper in the pandemic. When all this first started, there was a slowdown of about a week or two, and then it was business as usual. Things were selling. Things were selling quick. Um, but just just now, if you imagine that uh, the pandemic and uh, huge amount of cases being uh, coming on board down in Florida, that's mm-hmm. one issue why things have slowed down. But also, too, uh, where I am in Naples, the, um, the the market is slow typically because it's this time of year. Right, right, right. That's true. But, but yeah, yeah, values are, are very good down in Florida right now. They're exceptionally well. All right. You want to get in touch with Jeff? You can call him, right? Give us the number. Eight six zero four six three nine two nine six. You can also check out our website at jeffbodu dot com. All right, very good, Jeff thanks, Jeff. thanks for the time. We always appreciate it. Stay safe. We'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. You guys have a great, thanks, great buddy. weekend. Thank you. Bye. All right.